Armed with a witty vocabulary and a snide smile, gray-haired Sean Patrick Hannity is ready to pick on some news. He is one of the most famous conservative political commentators. Since 2009, Sean ran his own show on Fox News, and he hosts the Sean Hannity Show on radio. But on his way to the top, he managed to make a bunch of enemies. Here's the list of celebs who supposedly can't stand Sean Hannity. Jimmy Kimmel The Kimmel-Hannity feud has been raging back and forth on Twitter for a long time. It all started when Jimmy did an old-style comedy street prank, hiding a zucchini with a rubber band and a chicken's leg in his pants. He asked women on the street to guess what he had hidden. Some people found it funny, but some didn't. It all went viral when Hannity fired with the verbal war on Twitter. He labeled Kimmel a Harvey Weinstein Jr. and called him a pervert for asking young girls to grab his crotch on the ABC, saying, I bet Disney is so proud. And he went after him for a racist mocking of basketball players. I am going after Jimmy Kimmel tonight. We're going to pound him with his own words. He attacked Kimmel for mocking Melania Trump's accent after she read a children's book to a kindergarten class. I figured it out. I just want to this is, it's as solid gold as the toilet on the top floor of Trump Tower. <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel responded, When your clown makeup rubs off on Trump's ass, does it make his butt look like a creamsicle? On Jimmy Kimmel Live, he referred to Sean Hannity and those dummies on Fox & Friends, saying they would believe in lizard people if Trump said it first. It's clear that the two hosts cannot stand each other. FBI Mueller and Special Counselor the feds are currently not rejoiced with Hannity constantly picking at their work. Robert Mueller caught the most of Hannity's witch hunt accusations in terms of the investigation into Russian interference in the 2016 election. Hannity also accused Mueller of being involved in corrupt dealings with Boston crime boss Whitey Bulger. But the federal judge who worked on the case denied Hannity's claims, defending that Mueller was never accused of any wrongdoing. Ugh, who would like to be shaded like this? Corruption allegations ruining the public image of an agent seems like a pretty good reason for Mueller to dislike Hannity. The Cohen Epic While firing on the feds, Hannity did not notice how he himself fell into the crossfire. During the investigation into Trump's lawyer, Michael Cohen, it was stated that he had traditional legal tasks for only three, Trump, Elliot Broidy, and a prominent person who did not wish to be named for fear of being embarrassed. While Hannity was defending Cohen, he failed to disclose that he shared the lawyer with the president. So the third client was him? Only a lazy host would not mock that news on the show. Who wouldn't take an opportunity to laugh about it, if not Hannity's biggest opponent, Rachel Maddow? A left version of Hannity, she said she was struggling not to laugh when Cohen's third client was revealed. Like, what? It's who? <laughs> you know, sure, go ahead, make sense of that, why don't you? It gave enough material for The Late Show for Colbert to laugh at Hannity for almost 10 minutes. For the first time, I feel for Sean Hannity. Halloween yeah. is teaching our kids to be liberals, yeah. teaching kids to knock on, on other people's doors and right. ask for a handout. Well, that did not last long. <laughs> and of course, it was like manna from heaven on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey is one of the greatest comedians, but few know that he's good at caricatures. After the Cohen puzzle was solved, he posted a quick drawing on Twitter, captioned, Sean Manatee, some endangered species aren't worth saving. It's not the first time Carrey was hard on the right-wing commentator. He pictured Hannity as a pro wrestler, writing, If you believe wrestling is real, you may even believe Fox News, Infowars, and the robotic drones on Sinclair Broadcasting. But wrestling doesn't harm viewers. Performers like Sean Hannity and Alex Jones should join the WWE, where their hyperbole will do less damage to the culture. It seems that the pet detective Ace Ventura solved the case. Jon Stewart Well, Kerry is not the only comedian to make fun of Hannity. Jon Stewart gave a legendary rhapsody on The Late Show on Hannity's reasons to support Trump. Through the eyes of one of their most talented gymnasts, um, Ah, his name is Kashmi. Let's just refer to him as Lumpy. <laughs> hey, Lumpy! Kennedy fired back on his radio show, saying, I see they brought that idiot, Jon Stewart, back from the dead, but not directly addressing the point Stewart made against him. Is that Hannity's typical acute style? What do you think of Sean Hannity? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Click on the AWSA awesome icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel.